All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler here with of Chandler Gaming with the next episode of Mass Effect 3 with the engineer. We're going to get down to it. I need to see where the... Um, See, the autosave saved us in Mars when we need to be in the Citadel, so that's why you save. Okay, so here we are at the hospital. We're gonna go visit Ashley. Give me a sec here, everyone. Let me do something real quick. Okay, here we go. Then we go. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required stracial bindings. Meet you back here. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. We'll bang, okay? <laughs> you need anything, Doc. Let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Okay. Now we can start playing the game somewhat. Okay. I'm just checking for random stuff here. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I... I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Okay, I need to check the options here. Hundred, 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 yeah. Why are these games so quiet? I don't understand. Okay. Now we can go ahead and check out the Citadel. They changed it again, like they did in the uh, first two games. Ooh, look who we got here. Dr. Michelle and Dr. Chalk was. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chalk was, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. 
I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Ilium is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Paladin and Earth, the invading force appears to be the same that attacked those planets. And Dr. Michelle. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Okay. Now we're going to check out this shop here. These are the shop, uh... Welcome to Serta. Shop kiosks. We don't have... Well, we do have some money, but, um... is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. We don't really need anything but the, um... Thank you for coming to capacity. Thank you for shopping. And now we're going to explore the Citadel. Please select one moment. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. The same enemy force that attacked Materian Space. We're just checking everything out here. It's been a while since I've played this game. The whole Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. Okay. According to the Council, these galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. Hey, um, there's uh, Admiral Hackett. He's trying to get people to join the Alliance. Hello, dear. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only... He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But... The notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's 
not like him to go quiet. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Thank you. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter. Okay, so sometimes you want to listen to that to that dialogue because you'll get um, hidden missions that way. There's Commander Bailey's office. We don't need to go there yet. There's where we're going, Udina's office, but we don't want to go there yet. But well, maybe we do. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. Exactly! And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. <clears throat> the Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need. But I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. 
And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? Mm. Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Right on. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. All right. So now we can go into the Spectre office, which is right here. And now we can buy special uh, Spectre stuff. See, right here, they give you special intel, and you can get special resources here, too. So this message right here just tells you about that. And this message about the Quarian fleet just tells you, oh my god, there's a um, Quarian fleet out there. That Black Widow, if you're going to use sniper rifles, you want it. That N7 Eagle is another thing I want, too. And you'll see why later, when I get enough money for it. And nothing else over here. Okay. Check out Commander Bailey's office there real quick. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. That we slam the door on her face. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. Right? I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Oh, Agilani's not out here? Okay. There's James. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Kalisa Bint seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you military. You're angry. I get that. 
But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. Yeah, you stupid bitch. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall, one by one, if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Now I think we'll be able to go to the lower levels, will we? Nope, we won't be. God damn it. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. There's the other person I was looking for. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. It was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? He did, didn't he? So why would he be here unless he's seeing the Council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard! What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience. But that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all Council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot longer. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay. There's a Vina. We don't need to talk to her. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So, how am I supposed to talk with you then? Okay. We're returning to the Normandy, because we need to go to Palvin. This is what I hate of this game, these dream sequences. I hate this shit. And you'll see why, too. You gotta follow that kid around. And he'll disappear behind trees and shit. And there he is.
Why this couldn't be automated, I don't know, but... Now the little bastard's running. There he is. You gotta look for him, and I, I, I did. This is what I hate of these. I hate these because you have to do them. Why these couldn't be automated? I have no fucking clue. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? The Reapers are here, now. And the Council, the other races, are only interested in looking after themselves. How many civilians are dying while they wait for us to make the first move? At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. They'll come around. They've got to. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom.
Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Okay. So this just tells you about the war assets. Once you get enough war assets, you can fight the Reapers. But we don't have nearly enough to fight the Reapers right now, so we gotta go build alliances. Here's the old um, tech lab where Morden was. They turned it into a frickin' uh, conference room, idiots. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thestia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you could be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Okay. The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Let's check out the private terminal. So this one from Admiral Hackett, he's like, oh, we found a server space. We want you to go deal with it. Reinstatement. Um, pretty much um, Admiral Hackett is um, acknowledging um, Admiral Ander er, Anderson's reinstatement of us. Oops, there we go. So pretty much these are all just uh, worthless shit. So Edie gave us a hooded jacket for us to wear. Glyph is, um, we'll go meet Glyph here in a minute. And here's a mission we get to go back to Eden Prime from the first game. So we'll deal with all that later. But first, we're going to go down and explore the ship. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. 
It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Okay. Yes, okay, so we can buy stuff here on the ship, but it costs more. So when you're in, um... Good job. <laughs> So when you're in the stores, you want to buy the stuff because it'll be cheaper. <clears throat> hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the castle? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palava. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. You down here for a reason? Just came down to talk. Great. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <sighs> think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> what do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Tough choice. But it was the right call. You think so? I would have done the same. That's what's funny. You were doing the same thing. You took out the collectors. We never needed that intel. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn... <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. Long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. Okay, that was kind of fun. Dancing with James.
Okay. Here's Diana Allers. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Okay. Look who it is, it's Adams! Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Okay. Go up to the crew deck. Here's all the people who died. Like, there's Presley, Caden, Gordon. Commander? Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Okay. We don't have a mess sergeant this time. Which sucks. Oh ho ho! What do we got here? Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. So this is where we do the upgrades. I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Meeting with the council didn't go too well, huh? It was less than ideal. Yeah, that's a shocker. 
Whole worlds are being lost to the Reapers. What more will it take? Who knows? Hell, maybe the Council's just taken petty revenge for Shepard hanging up on them all those years ago. Wait, Shepard did what? Oh, sorry, I think we're going through some dark matter. Hello? Hello? That? So what do I want? Do I want ammo capacity, or do I want... Shields. I'll take shields. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Right? Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list. But later? There's so much left to do. Oh, come on! We're thirsty! Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? We're thirsty, Liara! You're turning it down? This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Okay. So pretty much this tells you some dirt on some people just to figure out what's going on. Oh, whoops. I meant to read this one, too. Okay. Please, enjoy your day. I'm just not fast enough to read all that text. I'm I'm really not. I can read, it's just I'm I'm just not fast enough, you know. Oh, they put a door on the um bridge. In the second game, it was open, but no. This one, they put a door on the bridge. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> we did that in the first game. We sure did. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark IV. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, 
I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Carry on, Specialist. Okay. So here we go. They now explain how this works. Um, conquered systems. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy self-drives. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. So you have to um, search around for stuff. And that's what we're going to do. I'll show you how it works. Okay, the Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance uh, that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. I'm thinking right there. Nope. Got the fuel. I want to check the planets. Nothing. All right. We'll go over here. To see what's going on here. Oh yeah, that's right. I know what we're doing here. We're going to recover a Prothean artifact on Eden Prime. Found something. Found two things. Nice. Aranova. You don't have to buy probes this time, which is so nice. There we go. We found the Alliance Cruiser Shagaha Shanghai. Yep. There's one. Here's two. There's an upgrade we found. Remnants of a Reaper Destroyer. Now this is where this game kind of gets hard. Right here is one. There we go, we got some fuel. But we gotta run, run, run. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Nope. Evasion successful. There we go. There we go. The Alliance Naval Exploration for Flotilla. Now let's get out of here. Reapers eluded. There it is. Faster than light jump successful.
Out of here we go. Nice, we got all the assets from there. You gotta point your ship in the right direction. To, uh, um. To um, get into the right spot to find your stuff. So, but we're gonna go to Eden Prime first and get this um, artifact. Remember, we went to Eden Prime was the first mission in the first game. So, let's find out what they found. Take you off. Let's take a Oh, I don't have any mods. Okay. Nope. There we go. Okay. So, what do I want? We need incinerate and overload, so we'll save the points for that. And save your points too. Okay. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. It sure did. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports said Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Not on my watch. Damn straight, loco. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... They killed everyone near the dig site. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime. But our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus has found. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. Okay, the dig site is down here. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. I grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move on to another. But you'd still remember. In the building we go to check out some stuff. Like, here's a salvage. 3,000 credits. Ammo we don't need. A med kit, I'll take that. Some grenades. We gotta get grenades again. This game. Here's a terminal.
but pretty much Cerberus here tricked the colonists into thinking um, they were doing a job when in reality they're slaves to Cerberus. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. Oh shit, a Prothean! Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No. An original, unmodified Prothean, who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No. Breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Here they come! Heads up! There went the nemesis. Got your ass. Let's get moving before more of them come back. All right, I'm checking these buildings first though. You never know, they might hide some stuff here. Like that, right there. That's salvage. Jumping down we go. Take that ammo. Hell yeah, we will. Take that equipment. Boom. I'm not in a good spot here. I'm really not. Got the engineer. I blew him up with his own turret. Uh. Got him in the head. I know where we're going. I need to find the enemies. Because I know there's more of them. Right there. There they are. They're in there. That's where they are. They're in there.
There we go. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Check around, look for your items. You know, because you never know. You never know if there are any. What's this? Nothing? that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Okay. So there's a second thing we need to find. We went up a level because of that, too. Believe it's this way. It's been a while since I've done this. So... down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. There we go. Get rid of those engineers. You want to do it quick. Because you don't want those bastards setting up turrets. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Okay. Yep, it's in that door. Okay. Take that. Salvage. We got plenty of ammo. Okay.
I never thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory! Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. You understood that one, too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans used to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Okay, we can go back to the pod. Okay. Okay. They all should be dead. Alright. We'll take ammo. Nothing else here. Shit! Go away, we are. Okay, that didn't work. These guardians are really hard to take out if you don't have a scoped weapon. But we'll fix that here soon. They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. Now this is kind of hard because you got to find the um, ladder to go down. There it is. I'm there we go. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Lots of bogeys inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Oh, we will. But we gotta find a good spot to hunker down, bunker down in. Here, one of you. I knew I was missing something. The ammo power. 
Oh shit, the ammo disappears this game. I forgot about that. If you don't pick up the ammo while you're fighting, it disappears. Got a second to catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. If anybody's low, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I'm not. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Heavy mech, don't let it get close. Yeah, get rid of that mech first. You do not want that mech firing at you, man. I took it down with, um, incinerate and, um, overload. Which way are they coming? Oh, James is over there. Okay. I thought he was a Cerberus I needed to kill. There. You can open the life pod now. Okay. Here we go. Woo! May take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now!
Do not shut off more pods. I need the few that are left. Our needs will be triaged appropriately. You will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. All right, so we get a Prothean on our team now. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Don't tell me the game froze. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Yes. Which? You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We 
never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? I do not believe you, Commander. Lying is a biological marker. There is doubt behind your words. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes. I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. It was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our Empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one Empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. 
very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes. Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. 
Though I still need time to recover, the shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. All right, well, I'm going to call it for this episode. Um, the particle rifle, that's for Javik. He uses that, so... Anyway, um, that's how we got a Prothean on our crew now, so hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I did. I had fun playing it, so I will see y'all in the next episode.